I want to touch on 808s and Heartbreak because that is one of my favorite albums. I just remember in college, that was just our soundtrack. Um, we'd love to have you uh, touch on, you know, some of the songs from there, All of the Lights. Um, can you just bring us back to the creation of that? And we'd yeah. love to hear. That's actually Dark Fantasy. But oh, Torture oh Fantasy. sorry. I mean, yeah. Okay. But um, 808s. Um, um, I mean, I give you, it's, it's funny you say that be, that way because I think all the lights actually, there's some crossover in those albums, maybe to some extent, um, because I can't remember the exact chronology of that, but it's funny that all the lights, particularly, that just came like in a burst of inspiration, like, we just come back from playing basketball in Hawaii. Oh, wow. We like had to get on. I think everyone was kind of, it was like the last day in the studio, you know, after like maybe a couple months stint and we we're supposed to get on the plane. And I just like came in the room and had my keyboard up and just started. Uh, uh, just so try, just, just, just came out just like that. Freestyle that? Yeah. You're joking. Yeah, and then Kanye got on his MPC and to boop, pop, 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 did the beat like we did that in like five minutes. Oh you know? my god! And gosh. had the basic, the basic aspect of it got created, and then after that, it took many, many months and many, many versions of the drums of what's supposed to happen, and then had all the lights, but and it wasn't. We knew it was like a big record, but it wasn't quite making sense and then the original idea came together so quickly and then evolved into this thing that felt like a big record um and then finally the dream kind of put that oh yeah the melody on there and turned it into a real so i think we said you know we had the, all of the lights all of the lights and and stop lights spot lights cop lights all that stuff but you turn up the lights in here, baby. That extra bright. I want y'all to see this. That's the dream, right? And then Kanye put like everyone on the record. Right. And then Elton John was eating brunch at the hotel. And Mr. Hudson was like, hey, come to the studio. And then Elton stuff. John came in and played piano and sang on it. And it was just like turned into this monster record. Um, but yeah, that's a great one. I, I remember like soon after, like it was really drop and walking into like Las Vegas into some casino and it playing and being like, okay, let's win up. Let's, let's do this. Like such an amazing, like inspirational pump up jam. Um, that one came together super fast, you know, and, and 808s itself came together really fast as an album. Like the, the, the one of the fastest, I think that one took like a matter of like a couple months or even like oh, the wow. core coming together in a few weeks. Um, you know, right after his mother died and, and kind of like everything just taking like a hard left turn. Um, and no ID brought that heartless sample in and we had that oh, heartless. Wow. I think he had that back in the, um, like for blueprint three, mm -hmm. but it was like, okay, yeah, definitely cuffing that for my for myself but you know there's a lot of amazing yeah it's 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 awesome to kind of look back on those those days and how everything came together and and also becoming like an extension of the of the tour and to be like a part of the touring band it's really like a rock band that's like you know we're writing the stuff in the studio and we're performing it it's not like okay, we're making it. And then you hire this band to learn it. It's like, we're like me and Mike Dean, we're like up there, Love like Mike doing Dean. the, you know, playing those records that we're like doing in the studio, you know, and, and Bon Iver's up there, Justin's up there doing his thing. Like we did that awesome Coachella performance that he headlined. Um, but that was always real, really special. And there was another one of Kanye's like strokes of genius, you know, to realize that he wanted to be making music that you know, made his job easy to go on stage and do it. So you're kind of like conscious of that at the same time. And, you know, like the, the auto tune being like, okay, I, I want to sing the T-Pain part at the show. It's like, okay, no problem. We'll just throw auto tune on you and you can do it. And he's like, wow, this is amazing. And like, I'm, I'm going to do an EP of this. And then all of a sudden it was like, you know what, actually my next album is going to be, I'm going to sing. And, and everyone's like, what? Like, I mean, 
you remember at the time like how how um kind of mind boggling that was everyone was just kind of like he's singing or like what is this and now it's you don't even think twice about it right right, 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 right. like but at the time that was like a really really avant-garde thing to be doing right um, so yeah that was special times and just just the whole practice of like being in hawaii having like such a healthy lifestyle and such a positive vibe in the studio i don't know if that ever translates to like to the, the, the general population like what a positive environment and what like the diversity of people that come together on his projects and there's just kind of like a harmony in the air that right. that flows from the top you know like all the culture any culture you have in your world whoever you are if you're the leader everything flows from you right. you know your attitude how you treat people your work ethic the standards you set for yourself, the bar, how high you set the bar, that's all going to translate to, you know, the people around you. So, you know, that he never, he's, he, he's the hardest working guy. Uh, in I don't want to say he's the hardest working guy in showbiz because I'm sure there's a lot of people that work really hard, but at the time, like coming into his world, like it made it open my eyes to like, wow, how much harder I could be working and, and how ambitious that you could be and how hard you need to work to fulfill your ambitions and, and how fun it can be and to believe in like, hey, you know what? Like, like another thing, like when the show would be like tomorrow and we'd seemingly not even have like a concept or what was going on for him to be like, and everyone's freaking out, just be like, hey, nobody panic. Like, this is going to work to to keep your head. There's that quote, like, if you can keep your head, like Rudyard Kipling or something, like, if you can keep your head when all is chaos around you, you know, when everyone's losing their head, if you can keep your head, like, that's how you can succeed. Like, that's, that's, that's what a winner does, you know. It's like to keep your calm, keep your cool, and believe in yourself and execute and have faith that it's going to be okay, you know. And, and, and not expect yourself to be perfect either. Like, you know, you can be great, but you can also fail. Like we did plenty of shows where we stopped the show in the middle of the thing. It's like start over. We just were basically rehearse. Usually like the first couple arena shows, we're like rehearsing for the people. And right. that's kind of cool in itself. Right. You know, I exactly. mean, he's just turning the whole thing on its head of like just this perfect thing to just let you into his world. It's kind right. of what he did with the listening parties. Right. right. So, just a fascinating and such an inspiring way to practice art and For sure. and and tear that process open and become like just this energy field of creativity rather than I'm gonna package it up and give it to you and then that's it. But like really give yourself the license to just live and breathe your art. Right. That's incredible Definitely. place to be. 